John Lennon in Spain, rare behind the scenes moments. In 1966, a British newspaper published an interview with John Lennon in which he famously declared, we are now more popular than Jesus. This statement ignited a firestorm of controversy that rapidly intensified. A month later, Lennon arrived in Almeria to film the anti-war movie, How I Want the War. The city, with its striking landscapes and favorable conditions for large-scale productions, had become a mini Hollywood. Seeking respite from the media frenzy, Lennon found solace in this tranquil setting. For the first time, he would also work on a solo project, separate from the Beatles. While Paul McCartney and Jane Asher ventured to Africa, George Harrison and Patty explored India, and Ringo Starr and Maureen visited relatives in England. Lennon sought a new path through acting. He remarked, I wanted to try a new life. Perhaps acting could offer a new adventure. Lester envisioned John Lennon for the role of Corporal Gripweed, a character he tailored specifically for Lennon's anti-war stance. Lennon, eager for a new challenge and uninterested in the role's size, accepted the part without even reading the incomplete script. This decision, driven by his trust in Lester, was unconventional, but suited Lennon's desire to explore new facets of his career. John queued for his lunch on the film set, but was disappointed one day to not get a cheese sandwich. Filming took place in various locations, including Spain and Germany, where Lennon and his fellow cast members experienced both the glamour and challenges of the production. Lennon's new look and low-key lifestyle during this period contrasted with his usual fame, allowing him some anonymity and normalcy. John relaxes on the set with a chupa chup, a Spanish sweet on a stick. The grueling conditions and tight budget of the shoot tested everyone involved, but the camaraderie and shared experiences left lasting impressions. On October 9th, coinciding with his 26th birthday, Lennon's wife, Cynthia and Ringo Starr, visited Almeria to celebrate, staying at the Finca de Santa Isabel, now the Casa del Cine de Almeria. It was here that one of Lennon's most iconic compositions began to take shape. John's home in Spain, Santa Isabel, where he worked on strawberry fields and played Monopoly by candlelight. Excited by the opportunity to act, Lennon embraced the film's role, marking his debut with the round glasses that would become iconic. He hoped this new endeavor might provide a fresh direction for his career. In a conversation with Herschler, he expressed his desire to step away from touring and travel. We are going to take a break for a while. John Lennon at 26 exuded a youthful and vibrant presence. While filming How I Won the War, he appeared to be enjoying himself taking part in an impromptu cricket game on set. However, Lennon was apprehensive about a scene where his character is shot four times, revealing his fear of an eerie prophecy that he believed could foretell a violent death. Tragically, his concerns were realized in 1980 when he was shot by Mark Chapman. Though How I Won the War received mixed reviews, Lennon's performance was acclaimed. He also composed one of the Beatles' most celebrated songs, Strawberry Fields Forever, during this period. That November, the Beatles regrouped to work on their seminal album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Despite his aspirations, How I Won the War remained his sole film outside of his work with the Beatles. Lennon confirmed in a 1968 interview with Rolling Stone that he composed the song during his time in Spain while filming How I Won the War. He noted, Dick Lester offered me the part in this movie, which gave me time to think without going home. We were in Almeria, and it took me six weeks to write the song. I was writing it all the time I was making the film. And as anybody knows about film work, there's a lot of hanging around. I have an original tape of it somewhere, of how it sounded before it became the sort of psychedelic sounding song it became on record. The peaceful atmosphere of Almeria evoked memories of Lennon's childhood and the Strawberry Field Orphanage in Liverpool. Strawberry Fields Forever was released in February 1967 as a double single with Paul McCartney's Penny Lane, another song reflecting childhood memories in Liverpool. 